Today we are sharing with you our journey across the country. At the end of March, we were faced with the knowledge that we were going to be starting over. So we could either start over where we were or do what we've always dreamed of. Well, dreamed of for the last three years and travel across country and start over there. So with the help of family and friends, over the next 30 days, we packed up everything, scrubbed the apartment, and got ready to hit the road. Eight years ago, this is where we moved into as a family. This is where I've recorded all of my videos and created all the fun recipes I share on the blog. So saying goodbye was a little bittersweet. But the hardest goodbye was saying goodbye to my daughter who stayed behind. She is pursuing her dreams and is excited in supporting us in pursuing ours. On April 30th, we hit the road. Our first stop was to say goodbye to my husband's family. We gave lots of hugs, laughed a lot, and ate delicious food. We even tried to stow my niece away. The next morning, we started the second leg of our journey and we were heading to Vegas. The scenery kept getting more open and even drier. We were definitely hitting the desert. Shortly before leaving California, we hit this fun rest stop and I point out where we started in California the day before and my husband is pointing to where we were at that moment on day two. One of the coolest things we saw on this little journey were these lights. Come to find out this is a solar farm and those are not lights, they're mirrors reflecting the sun onto the solar panels, which apparently is how 40% of Nevada gets their power. A short while later, we made it to my brother's house. We were able to spend time with him, his kids, and my dad, and of course, Mr. Bentley, um, before heading off the next morning. We realized that morning that our coolant was low, but we didn't realize why, so we stopped and filled it up. In Arizona, we stopped at this fun jerky place and we stuck our visitor pin in as Arkansas residents. I enjoyed the lavender bathroom and then we hit the road again. Right around Kingman, Arizona, we started having some car issues and stopped to get it looked at and sure enough, we had a massive coolant leak along with a few other issues that we're still not sure what exactly what was wrong with the car. After a very long day with lots of car noises, we finally made it to New Mexico and to our hotel for the night. The next morning, we filled up with the cheapest gas we have seen in years and hit the road. Of course, sending my daughter pictures of sour cream and onion crickets. Thankfully for the rest of the trip, our car made no more noises. We made it to Texas and boy was the scenery beautiful. The windmills were everywhere. We even passed three ch trucks with these huge windmill blades. I thought it was pretty cool. Of course, when we hit Amarillo, we had to stop and have some Texas steak, which I think is probably my husband's favorite steak he's ever had. After lunch, we headed to Clinton, Oklahoma, where we enjoyed our first southern thunderstorm from the safety of our hotel. The next day, we finished the final leg of our journey, entering into Arkansas, making it to Rogers, and finally making it home. We are so excited to call this area home and to share the rest of our journey here with you. Thank you for joining us.